welcome back to another edition of NST Chat. We are here today with Tengku Aziz, a very strong critic of the DAP now, ever since he left the party a couple of years back last year. And uh, he's here today to talk about not just the DAP, but also national politics in general, and what is the state of the country after the general election. How do you do that? I'm fine, thank you very much. Uh, I've heard that you've been very busy giving interviews and a lot of uh, times you yeah. have you have been the sharp end of the spear, <laughs> raking in, yes. raking some of the uh, your former colleagues in the DP in the cold. No? How do you feel about that? Well, I think the spear should be even uh, sharper, but uh, we we'll leave it at that for the moment. Yes, I've been very uh, very disappointed with the way that. Uh, uh, the DAP, um, you know, has uh, uh, behaved uh, in the sense that uh, uh, this is a party which, you know, uh, often claims the, the moral high ground, uh, and yet at the same time you see that, you know, they, they uh, thrive on uh, lies. Um, they actually, um, you know, uh, operate um, uh, on inventing uh, lies. Uh, uh, they believe that you know the bigger the lies, the more often the lies are told, um, something will stick. And unfortunately, this is the case, especially with our younger people. I think. I am on record, and so have you, and another person is the blogger Helen Ang, to describe the AP as or will it. Yeah. I've written a lot of times. In fact, every time I write about them, I can't help but put the, the O word, yeah. and I would always refer to George Orwell's Animal Farm to describe yeah. the situation inside the DAP. Yeah. How accurate is Animal Farm to describe the DAP? Sometimes, you know, I, I, I think that uh, uh, Animal Farm was specially written. <laughs> exactly as I do. Uh, <laughs> in anticipation of, yeah. uh, of a political party such as DAP uh, emerging. Um, uh, I, I think, you know, I, I agree with you entirely with, with the way you, uh, you look at uh, DAP uh, and I think Animal Farm. Uh, Orwell's Animal Farm, uh, I think, best describes, uh, you know, the philosophy of uh, the so-called Democratic Party. But why, in this era of greater democracy, would a party like this resort to that kind of philo political philosophy? Because it's, it's, uh, it's just a, a total aberration to, to other parties. And knowing in the, in, 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 in the great light of social media, the internet, uh, uh, easy recording and photography, you could catch these people's eyes flat out. And yet they persist in this animal farm thing. Yeah, I think you know, this is really because they have captured cyberspace. Okay. And uh, I think you uh, have, um, uh, I think, commented in the past you know, um, how uh, bloggers uh, have been able to, um, to, to, to make up stories, tell lies uh, blatantly, because they know that, uh, um, you know, they can get away uh, uh, with them. Uh, I think this is, this is a great temptation for a party such as the AP to exploit a system um, which, because of uh, default on our on our part, uh, was handed over to them on a platter. No regulation, and the laws have never been fully enforced. I think you know understand come when uh, new laws should be uh, imposed, uh, not to restrict freedom of speech, but to hold people uh, in much the same way as the laws hold you as a mainstream journalist accountable yes. for what you say. Yes, yes. Uh, even for me, you know, as a part-time uh, columnist, uh, 
I have to be very careful uh, that what I write, um, you know, uh, I can I can defend, but not in cyberspace. The lies that have been um, have been told, uh, and these are the lies that, uh, unfortunately, uh, people believe because the argument is, well, it's on the block, you know, so it must be true. Do you think that? the DAP would become truly democratic if they got rid of the very people who put them there, who, 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 made, uh, who made them look like animal farmers in the first place. See, uh, <coughs> Lim Siang and Lim Guang Yi, these are the perpetuators of the animal farm uh, philosophy within the DAP. Would the DAP become a better party if these two were, 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 were taken? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's is the mindset, is the mentality, is the the um, uh, you know the fortress syndrome, uh, which is which is what uh, both father and son uh, uh, seem to have uh, uh, to have developed, uh, you know, because these are the people who uh, we must not forget. DAP has inherited. Um, uh, many of the political beliefs, philosophies, and practices of the People's uh, Action Party uh, of Singapore. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they, you know, they are the inheritors of all that is worst, that is really, uh, you know, um, the, the practices which are totally unacceptable in a democratic society such as ours is, with all its imperfections. But the AP, I think without Lim, uh, Lim Ket Siang and Lim Guan Eng, uh, would be really transformed into you know, a party that fits in with our national uh, aspirations.